Welcome back to the channel, it's Nephew. All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about how much money do you need to get started with trading, all right? Now, um, I know right now is a bad time for a lot of people. Uh, money is very scarce. It's not really easy to have a lot of money right now to invest. So if you guys want some free stocks, you guys can click that link in the description. I'm gonna tell you more about it. Um, and you can get some free stocks from Webull, the platform we're using right now. It's a pretty decent platform. It's free commission, it saves you a lot of money and um, help you get started with your trading or your investing, whichever one you're gonna be doing. I left a, I made a video about uh, the difference between trading and investing, so if you wanna know more about that, I'm gonna leave that video link also in the description, um, and you guys can check that out to learn more about which, which you know goals you have and depending on your situation with work, which one you would like to do. But moving forward with this video, how much money do you really need to have to get started with trading? So when I first started trading, um, you know, there was no zero commission brokers like Webull or anything like that. There was always these $500 deposit type. E-Trade was $500 deposit at the time and I didn't have it. Um, I believe Merle Lynch or Merle Lynch at the time, it wasn't even a Merle Lynch back then, but Merle Lynch, you had to have at least $10,000 to even get in there or, or even open up an account or, or whatnot. Um, so luckily you guys don't have to deal with that um you have lots of platforms now um which i also have a link to the video for that 14 best brokers that you guys can use that are free with like no uh money deposits so i'm gonna put those that's also in the description but now you got these brokers right now that you can basically just get started with no money so you could just open up account like with you could just open up the account with no money now in order to get the free stock from Webull that I'm talking about in this video, you're gonna have to make a deposit of $100, but that's just because you're trying to get the promotional two free stocks that's valued up to a thousand bucks. Other than that, you could actually open up a Webull account with no money down, no nothing. You could just open up the account. Um, so just keep that in mind. You don't have to have money to open up the account, download the software onto your computer. You can do all that stuff for free, but if you guys want to start investing, you need some type of money, okay? So you can see right here that Apple costs $444, uh, Tesla $1,400 for one share, Twitter is $37, and if you're gonna be buying index funds or trusts, this would be $334 if you wanna buy the whole market. Um, but then you have, you have plenty of, um, you know, more affordable stocks as well if you want to buy them but we're going to talk more about that later on in this series about the fact that some stocks don't exactly be they're not exactly cheap just because the price is cheap um we're going to be able to talk about how you value a company but in this video we're going to talk about the differences of your deposits so if you're just getting started you could easily get started with 50 bucks and you can buy some shares for 50 bucks there's a lot of companies you can grab um, that are reasonably priced that you can get into for you know for, for relatively small amount of money you don't have to have a whole lot of money to get started and you, once you buy one share you own a piece of a company so it's kind of cool because you now you own a piece of somebody's company or you own a piece of of a piece of a piece of, of property um, and you can start earning dividends and things like that from just even spending uh, a little bit of money on it just a tiny bit buying one share is one piece of the puzzle now some brokers have um they have you know partial shares where you don't have to pay a small portion of it but you can still put just like a dollar and you can take over a company that you know has like a lot of like you could put a dollar and own a piece of tesla but we'll make a video about that too later on so just in this video i want to talk about the differences if you have if you want to day trade, you're going to need at least $25,000 to day trade uh, versus unless you want to do it without margin, unless you don't want to go short. So what that means is if you want to bet against the stock and you want to make money going down when the stock goes down, you would need at least $25,000 and a margin account to do so. If you want to uh, day trade, that means you can buy and sell a trade all in one single day and you want to be able to do that uh, more than three times a week, you're going to need at least $25,000. In a margin account if you don't you know if you're not in a rush you don't need your money to settle quickly then you can do it with a cash account all right so i leave a link there's a video about that as well i'm gonna leave that link in the description as well so you guys can check that out but for the most part um you don't have to have twenty five thousand dollars to start but this question usually brings on another question from me to you which is how much money are you intending to make because if you were to buy 
um, um, if you if you only have five hundred dollars to start trading with, and you want to make um, you know, five hundred dollars from your five hundred dollars, then you need a stock that's going to move up a hundred percent, and you know, so that's going to be pretty difficult. Um, I can I can show you right now. Um, like right here, here's a stock that you know you could have had bought this with five hundred bucks. You could have bought two dollars of this, and then when it shot up right up this high up, you could have made a ton of money on this on this uptick. Um, because you would have had it at two dollars, it goes up to sixty, so that's thirty times your money. That's a three thousand percent return. So your five hundred dollars times you know thirty is basically what you would have made. Um, but that's just one situation, and that's not something that happens very often. As you can see, over a long period of time, that wasn't even possible. Um, so there's a lot of weirdness going on in the stock market right now. So. But in, in order to be realistic, if you wanted to make some type of money, you know, what if you were to make uh, a, a little bit of money, you know, what if you wanted to make some money off of Apple or something like that? And there's like a, a small little three or four percent return. So when you think of a two or three or four percent return, you're thinking you take a thousand bucks and you, you know, 10 uh, percent of a thousand bucks is a hundred bucks. So two percent return is going to get you 20 bucks. So when you think about it. If you only got a thousand dollars and you trade and you make two percent, you're gonna make twenty dollars, and that's decent money if you know if you're getting started and you just want to get it going. But you're also risking a thousand dollars to make twenty bucks, and then you have to realize that if you are trading, um, and you're, you you have the ability to also lose the money too, so you have to keep that in mind. Losing two percent would also mean losing two dollars or twenty dollars. Um, now, if you had a hundred thousand, then that two percent would then be two thousand dollars then you know so now it starts to make more sense and you can pay your bills with that two thousand dollars a whole lot faster than you can with twenty dollars all right so i know ten thousand would get you two hundred dollars at two percent now trying to make a trade two percent a day one percent a day it's not impossible it can definitely be done more often than none it's just that you're going to also catch losses um i do have a strategy where i hold stocks overnight that i'm going to talk about in the future on this channel but for right now um just keep in mind that you can get started with you know you can start with a hundred dollars you know and then you can buy an uh, index fund and you can start buying over and over and over every time you get your paycheck you could just put 50 to 20 or 30 to 100 dollars in there and you can slowly build your account up all right so you don't have to uh you don't you don't really have to um start with a lot like this is an index fund this is a vanguard s p 500 ETF and what this does is it tracks basically the whole market and you could what I'm trying to say is you could start it uh, Back in 2016 every time you got a paycheck You could just add a little bit here a little bit there a little bit there and you would have never lost money I mean, yeah, maybe down here you would take a loss or maybe down here you losing money or down here You remember you don't lose money till you hit the sale button But the point I'm trying to make is from the beginning of time if you just keep buying and buying and buying and buying and buying and buying and buying all of your money is going to constantly grow and this is really hard to beat uh this is the this is the uh this is when we had the you know right when the outbreak was mentioned and this is um let's see oh this one's before the uh this one's before the housing crash so basically this would have been a great one to buy into it tracks the market you guys could have bought that down here at hundred dollars a share and you'd be already 300 percent on your return so you don't have to be a super professional trader or you don't have to do too much you can easily just do this and this is probably what i would suggest somebody do if they wanted to get started and they just want to be in the game they want to have some skin in the game as we call it then i would start with uh with an index fund because then you're going to be able to um, always beat market managers, uh, fund managers, and most day traders can't get the percentages of 12% a year on average with, with the S&P 500 makes between you know 10 and 12, depends on the year. But you, most people can't beat this. Beating the market is difficult enough. So if you really wanted to just you know really get a really good increase on your money, I would, I would just invest in in an in in index fund if you don't want to be doing all that research and you don't want to be doing all that right now you just want to get started 
Um, if you are into doing all the research and you want to be able to pick your own trades and stuff like that, then you know you might need to have more money to play with because you're going to have to be jumping in and out of trades. And depending on if you're going to run a margin, I know if you're doing margin, you may need about twenty five hundred to make sure you can cover the, uh, the you know whatever uh, platform requirements they may have for you. You don't want to have a margin call, so you want to make sure you have enough. But you can definitely trade with any small amount of money and you can get started with that so let me know in the comments below what you started your trading account with if you have any questions don't you know don't hesitate to ask me i'll let you know but like i started my account with 75 bucks and then the goal was to trade it up to ten thousand, and i managed to do that and not just trade it as in every single trade was the only way i got money i also threw paychecks in there and money like that and so now that i'm at the ten thousand mark i would start over and repeat and not necessarily start over from $75 but I would start over with 2000 pull the 8000 out maybe put it in the index fund and then try to trade and also save back up the 10000 again and just keep repeating that because then that's allowing me to build up my account slowly but surely and that's if I just don't feel like trading I just want to buy and hold but if you want to uh, make some day trades you want to trade 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 then you're definitely going to need to um, have a decent amount of money to trade with um, a lot of people who day trade they start with like accounts like 5,000 some people start with 2,000 um, this guy named warrior trader Ross he started with 500 and traded his way up to 100,000 so it's possible to start with any small amount of money don't be discouraged and feel like oh man I don't have a lot of money so I can't start no man you can start just putting 20 bucks in there man like you could just start with 20 bucks I know a lot of people like Millennials like younger Millennials or maybe Gen Z or whatever they have cash app they'll slap they'll slap um, five bucks in there and they'll just buy a stock with the one dollar or two dollars or whatnot and they'll just start building it up that way so there's no limit uh, no minimum requirement to get started you just have to have enough money to buy the shares and I don't believe that Webull has it where you can buy partial shares so you'd have to have the full amount but there are a bunch of other brokers that do have partial shares and um, we'll talk about that in maybe another video okay guys so anyway i hope this video helped you smash that subscribe button hit that like button leave a comment talk to you later peace